Hi everyone, today I'm going to make you the easiest bread from preparation to be cooked. It's going to take half an hour maximum. It's going to give you a lot of satisfaction that many of the breads do give and maybe more. What's its name? It's called bazlama and I'm going to make a faster version of bazlama. You can even make it on the pan, you can use the oven. But at the same time, with that bazlama, I'm going to take another Turkish technique, which is pide, and combine them together from using the bazlama bread as a base for pide. It can also be a base for a pizza with whatever I have in the fridge. I'm going to make bazlama pide. Dough party then. Dough party and more. <laughs> What is a good bread made up of? Flour, water, and a bit of salt and yeast. But we can change a few things to increase the taste. First of all, the water, the liquid should be 60% of the flour. This is the general terms in different breads, of course it will change, but usually keep in mind, if it's a kilo of flour, 60%, which is 600 milliliters of liquid it should be. I have here milk which is going to be because it's fatty and it's very nice. It's going to have this milky taste to the bread as well. You don't need to have it. If you don't have it at home, you can use just water. The milk is from the fridge, so it's quite cold, but I'm going to add the rest about to make it 300 milliliters so that I warm it up a bit. It's around 28 degrees when it's like this. I'm going to add yeast to this, but before the yeast comes in, I'm going to add a bit of sugar, it's like less than a teaspoon. Why? Because if you think about it, now this dried yeast is kind of sleeping and she's going to wake up. And when she wakes up, she's going to be probably hungry. As we know, sugar is the fastest energy that we can get. But so it's like a bear. <laughs> Waking up from the Winter sleep, exactly. Ideally, it's better if it waits for five minutes, but I'm going to mix it up, 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 up. Hear the voice. Can you hear it? I have 500 grams of flour. I'm going to make a hole in the middle and add this to the middle. Normally this mixture wouldn't need this much of yeast, but we're saving time. So what we're trying to do, I increase the amount and decrease the time it has to wait. First I mix it with a wooden spoon. Why wooden? Yeast is a kind of bacteria, so when it's antibacterial, it might repel. It's not again very obligatory. Now I... I Salt. Edit. It would have been better if I added beforehand. I have a, like a full teaspoon of salt. Normally, please edit before you add the liquid. You can add it to the liquid, you can add it to the flour. The measurements of bread on the internet is given to from a certain amount of flour. But from flour, flour to flour, it changes. And for example, this one that I have bought from the internet, I couldn't find my usual one, is a bit drier. So, for example, I can have a bit more liquid in. The recipe is not like God written. So if you find it very dry, you can always add a bit more. When you're kneading the dough, Turkish way, what you do is you use these parts of your hand, like this. What you have to do, you really have to press and roll with two hands. What you do like this is wake up the gluten. Bread making is all about waking up and becoming like my mom. She what? used to wake me up. Anyway, I hate to wake up in the mornings to go to school. My school was really, really far away. So you have to wake up at 5, 6? Uh, 6, uh, and then 6.30 the bus would come and it would take one and a half hours to go. And if you miss it, you either miss the school or you have to cry your guts out. Anyways, as it wakes up, the dough becomes smoother like this, rather than all dry skin. So this will take about five minutes for it to come to its senses and then be ready to rest. So after five minutes of kneading, it becomes something like this. And this is going to wait for a while. I'm going to put 
it back in here and cover it with a plastic stretch film. So I'm just leaving a small hole here for it to breathe. It needs also some good air as well. But to keep the moist, I'm covering it like this. It should uh, stay in a place when there's no wind. I'm going to put it here and it has to be warm. If your countertop is, for example, marble, it's going to be cold like, you know, in Turkey we have a saying, when the child sits on a stone, oh, come on, you should uh, stand up or put something to your toto. Because cold from the stone is going to make you sick. So same thing for the dough. If your countertop is marble or something which is cold, use something like wooden, something like this, or a cloth make it stay warm from the bottom. And if your kitchen is cold, you can also add a another towel like this to keep it even warmer. My dough is going to rest about 12 minutes and I'm going to look at my refrigerator, whatever I have to make a good pide. My dough is here. It's been waiting around 12 minutes. It has grown almost twice the size. I'm going to divide this into four pieces. Now I'm going to make them into a round shape. What I'm doing, I'm not pressing top of my hand, but it's just the edges. Normally, I would take all the bubbles out because it strengthens the bubbles, but because I don't have time to wait again and again, I am going to just make one round thing like this. Or another technique I'll show you. You have the edges, hold them like this to the middle and then press. And then with the sides of your hands, like fingers and this thumb, make it round. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. Doesn't it look perfect? No, I mean, no, it doesn't. Thinking about but myself, I would never be able to do it. That if you're able to make it round, then it's very easy to open. Because, like, what you do is you press it. As I said, it's like it has to be simple and careless. Let me introduce you to my mom. Spring. Don't be afraid of her. Gal, gal, gal. Come, come, come. I'm walking. <laughs> She's Stop walking. I'm look how she walks. <laughs> What are these flowers? Wild, Wild cherry. cherry blossoms. Yeah. Amazing. Teşekkür ederim. Okay, bye. <laughs> my mom lives upstairs and they go out with my father around the apartment and have uh, some tours and she brought me nice flowers. I give them half of the bread we have. <laughs> now these are almost ready and they're going to get even better. I'm going to put a damp cloth on top like this. Okay, now we are ready. I have two pans, stainless steel. Don't use Teflon or granite or some kind non-stick if possible. Uh, you can use enamelware or cast iron. Why? Those pans are going to heat very much. Some bad gases in those pans will evaporate. So I take it slowly like this. The pan is really hot right now. I turn the heat low because if it browns very fast, the inside won't be able to get cooked. So like this about eight to 10 minutes, it's going to cook. After one side is really done, I'm going to turn it to the other side like cooking steaks. If you want to do this in the oven, you can put it into 200 degrees and then put it in the middle and it will cook. I look at the bottom and the bottom it has colored and the flower rose, so I turn it like this. This is like the flatter the breads, the older they are, like the oldest bread ever would be yufka, which is like thin, with no yeast uh, bread. Anatole is like the center of wheat to the world. So we have tremendous of different kinds of bread. Unfortunately, not so famous, but I believe in time, these really easy ways are going to be really famous one step at a time. As it was like this thick, it's almost like twice the thickness. I turned the other side and cooked it for three minutes. So it's total about six minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it again to 
to each side for one minute. What this will do is the middle gets cooked last. So without browning it anymore to get the heat in a better way for one minute one side and the other side again for another minute and the bread is going to be ready. What about the sides? The sides are always like that. That's the interesting side of bazlama. They are bigger and they're going to mature more because they waited a little more. Here we get the bread. Usually if we wait until it's cold, it's better. But I, I would like to first to show you when it's really hot. Cut it like this. Inside is like this. And what we can do, add a bit of butter. <laughs> That's not a bit of butter. <laughs> now it's a bit of butter. <laughs> if you show this to a Frenchman, he'll say, why? This is too small. If you put cheese, you would put much more cheese when you think about it. And now a bit of black pepper Why? and a bit of salt. I love it like this. I didn't ask, sorry for that. The thing is, uh, the bottom is really crunchy. Inside is really soft. The butter is not enough, you should see, but it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you come. Mm. Mmm. Nice. Now I understand the salt and the pepper. You should do this more often. And grow fatter. <laughs> cool. yeah. I should say this is tastier than really it looks. I'm going to make two different pides with this one. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Ah, still hot. Like this. Classic Turkish pide, how it works is, for example, it could be just plain kaşar, which is melting cheese. If it's just with kaşar, you can put a bit of butter at the bottom and leave some room at the sides because when it melts, it might pour a little. I had some köftes, meatballs. This, as it is, is very nice. I would like to make a vegetarian version. For that, I had some mushrooms. I'm going to add some olive oil, a bit of salt, pepper, garlic green onions from the garden and coriander. I put some cheese, I put a lot of mushrooms. Now, these are going to go in the oven for about five minutes. The mincemeat will be cooked on the grill. 250 degrees, it has to be just the grill, we don't need the fan. Oh, are we ready for it? Wow. Nice, huh? Simple, delicious, makes you really happy. So we can eat now. Hope you liked the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Please subscribe to our channel. It's our only motivation. Share it with your loved ones and cook some several dishes with your loved ones as well. If you want the recipe for the köfte, I'm going to put it down below. Also making like the perfect, proper bazlama as well is going to be down below. Hope you like it. Take great care.